The buzz about Aurelian Chuameni has been building for months. Billed as the next big thing to emerge from the AS Monaco dynasty, in two short years the 22-year-old has gone from relative unknown to the most sought-after midfielder in world football. And it's easy to see why. His ambition and constant quest for improvement has led him to the French national team and recently his first international goal, a winner in stoppage time against the Ivory Coast. You've said that when you achieve one step, you then figure out your next step. Surely that step now for you is to make the starting 11 for France for the World Cup. It's a big, big goal. I watched the game of the French national team uh, before their uh, 2018 World Cup uh, at Lyon against the uh, United States. And at the beginning of the game, when I, when I saw the atmosphere, around the game and all this stuff. Uh, it was my first time when I said, OK, I have to be there. You've been described as, as, as a humble guy. How do you stay so grounded? Because I lie, I have more to achieve. When I was young, uh, my parents told me, uh, you can do anything you want, but at the end, you have to be the best. If you want to, to work in a, a company, you have to be uh, the, the director of this company. Uh, if you want uh, to be a, a chef, you have to work in the best restaurants. And this mentality uh, allows me to be the, the person who I am today. But increased publicity has also exposed the darker side of football. In August last year, Chiumeni said he received death threats after being racially abused by Sparta Prague fans during a Champions League qualifier in the Czech Republic. Rather than retreat, he instead decided to act, issuing a statement on social media calling on UEFA to do more. Why was it important for you to make that statement? We have to, to find a solution, you know, to, to, to ask to everybody uh, in our world, uh, I speak about the, the world of football, how can we do to avoid the, this problem? That's why I, I ask some questions to, to the UFR to, to ask if it was possible for, for example, to, to have like a brainstorming, to, to think about uh, what can we do uh, to have a better world. Have UEFA responded to you about that? Not, not now, but uh, hopefully we, we will wait until they, they make maybe a, another decision. What would you like to see? Because we, we, we have a lot of gestures, you know, take a knee, um, say no to racism, boycotts. Uh, is that effective, do you think, or should something else be being done? I think it's effective because as athletes, uh, we are more impact when, when we say it's something, you know? It's not easy, because for me, it's very difficult to say, okay, in 10 days, uh, the races will be over, but it's better, I think. You um, recently met with Colin Kaepernick, um, who we know is a player who's pretty much sacrificed his career for the fight for racial equality and justice. Uh, what, what was that experience like for you? It was a great experience. For me, it's, it's a reference, you know. I say it to him uh, when, I, when I, I had my experience with uh, what happened in um, Czech Republic, uh, I, I thought about it because, you know, it's, it's not the same situation, but uh, I think uh, what he did um, is very powerful and it means a lot for, for us. I know you are a huge NBA fan, um, but in general, what is it that you love about American sports culture? When I want to, to change something mentally, uh, to find a new way to, to continue to build as a, as a player and uh, as, a, as a human, uh, it's more easier for me to, to find like a reference uh, in uh, American culture than in, in European culture. Can you give me some examples of who has inspired you? For example, I, I read a book about the All Black Legacy, you know, the, the rugby team, and 
I decided to, to take just one sentence in my phone and it was aim for the, the highest cloud. Try to, to be the greatest every, every time you, you did something and get up every day and be better than yesterday. Christina McFarlane, CNN.